It's James Hunter for IFL TV in association with Matt King's Jim Marbella. Just witnessed an absolutely fantastic fight. Um, first and foremost, congratulations on the win, Tom. Can you talk me through the fight a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, we'd watched a little bit of footage of him from what we could find, and I knew he was going to be quite awkward with his head lock, slippery and that, so the plan was to be patient and, you know, take my time to break him down, but I got, got straight in there and I could, found I could catch him quite clean straight away, and I think the first two rounds I was looking for it a little bit too much once I could catch him, and then the, the third and fourth, as soon as Tom said to me in the corner, lock, start putting some numbers in there now, and just started breaking him up then and you know it was only going to go one way really so mm -hmm. buzzing <laughs> first professional title yeah. how does it feel to get your sound on this WBO uh, in the continental strap it's wicked it's wicked I'm, you know it's, it's a great title to get for you know for my first one as well put like I said before puts me in the world rankings but I'm not calling out anybody not you know going jumping chasing after anything silly just you know keep learning my craft a few more you know defenses and Gradually increase the opponent, and then yes. you know, and if, if if other things come along along the way, then that's brilliant. But I'm not going to go chase anybody yet. I've still got a lot of learning to do. You know, I haven't gone over six rounds yet, so. But um, it's a great start anyway, and I'm just really looking forward to the next one now. Fantastic jab, Tom. It really paid dividends for you tonight. Landed very well and controlled the pace in the fight. Up a lot of shots. Yeah, I think uh, because. He was sort of giving up the ground, so it allowed me the opportunity to control it. Really, it wasn't it wasn't like my last fight with Wayne Reed, where he was press, pressing me, which obviously left him open to a lot of punches. You know, I had to sort of work this guy out a little bit more. And but um, I've got always had a good long jab, and just a case of lowering it a little bit tonight. And as soon as I started lowering it, I started finding the target quite clean, and you know, then that opened up the rest of the shots. I've got to say, fantastic travelling support for you in Ireland, all the way from Devon. They all had the same t-shirts on, they were singing songs, going absolutely mad. You would have thought you was a home fighter, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I can't thank my support enough. They just they just love a drink, to be fair. I think they just love a jolly like. But uh, <laughs> now nah, they're, they're fantastic. You know, travel even when I'm fighting in the Midlands, wherever I'm fighting in England and mm -hmm. Britain, they travel all the way. And the fact they've all flown over. And, you know, I've got a, a few fans from the, the West Brom fans and that as well. Baggies fans, I'm picking up more along the way now. And, you know, the, the lads from Birmingham, they all come over still. So... It's brilliant. It makes you feel at home wherever you're fighting. You know, I know wherever I fight in the UK, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have support there for me. So it's brilliant. Picking up some famous fans as well. Francis Warren, even producer Jim Bentley, speaking very highly of you. Saying you've got a little bit of everything. A bit of charm. You can fight. Not a bad looking fella. <laughs> well. so, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna comment on that. But yeah, a little bit of everything. And they're very impressed with the way you conducted yourself. Yeah, I just gotta, uh, you know, just keep doing what I'm doing. And one step at a time, the the bigger fights and the bigger titles gonna come come down the line. So. Very pleased with the way it's going, and you know I'm glad everyone else is pleased with me as well. So just keep moving forward, man. What do you think of the middleweight division in the UK at the moment? Oh, it's red hot. It's red hot. There's no doubt. You know, there's a lot of good names out there. You know, John Riders, Nick Blackwells, and then obviously the top of the you got Billy Joe, Eubanks, and you know Martin Murray. Although I think he's going up to um, super middle now, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the. I'm not in the stage or position to be calling them out. Like I said, I've only. I've only uh, gone six rounds before, so I've got to keep learning. Few more durable, tougher opponents in front of me. You know, get them out of the way, and then, then we can start looking at those sort of names. But it's it's a very exciting division, very exciting time to be to be in it. So I'm really looking forward to what the future holds. Well, I'm sure people ahead of you will be taking note because Tommy Langford's on their trail. You live the life, you're doing things properly. Great trainer as well in Tom Cheney. Yeah, yeah. Does, does great things, doesn't he? Oh, he's spot on. He knows me inside out, and uh, you know, I know anything he says, I'll just do because it's going to work. And uh, if as long as I keep following that pattern and keep keep believing in that, then I'm going to get, get big results down the line. So, you know, Tom is fantastic. I can't, can't thank him enough. He puts a lot, of, a lot of work and a lot of time into me. And, you know, it's, it's showing in the ring, so I'm really happy. All right, well, listen, we're going to chat to your manager, Jason, see what's going on with some dates, and hopefully we see you out on Box Nation again real soon. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks, James. Cheers, mate. Cheers, thank Tom. you.